Hey everybody, Joy here. It's Saturday, November 21, 2020. And I can't really talk right now because I have all these papers stuck on my arm. <laughs> and my husband is right outside the door doing his exercises that he does at physical therapy. And so we've been out of town for four days, which is why you haven't heard from me. I made you a video in my hotel room with my cell phone, but I could not figure out how to fix it so I could upload it. So it's just history. <laughs> it wasn't anything anyway. So anyhow, I had a bunch of new fabric I ordered from Fabric Mart Fabrics, and of course I'll show it to you. But before I do, I have to get all these papers off of me and on the white boards that I'm going to wrap my new fabric in. And so I'll be back in a little bit to show you that. Okay? <laughs> I'm back. It's still Saturday, and it's still November 21. Cheers. I have my coffee now. Hold on a second before I spill it all over my new material I just washed. Was that quiet? Okay. I had about four cups this morning, so. <laughs> we were out of town, like I said. You know, Jerry and I just sold our house in Edmond, Oklahoma, which is really Oklahoma City. And um, so we don't have a home up there anymore. But our doctors are still there. His doctor uh, for his um, knees, and my doctor for my legs, for varicose veins. And um, so our yearly thing came up. And so, and we both have a heart doctor there. So, and we like our doctors, so we're gonna keep them. But I'll tell you what I don't like is the hotels. Oh my heavens. I took a picture. I think I actually took a picture. Maybe I did. If I did, I'll put it right here. Okay. So that was actually hotel room number four. We had already been to the hotel next door, which was Radisson Inn, Country Inn and Suites. The rooms were so dirty there. I did not take pictures, but the first room was so nasty. They all had this orange couch, and when you walked in, it was just, they call it a suite. It was just this little area that had a couch in it, and the couch was orange, and the cushion on the couch was covered with white stuff. Stuff. I can only imagine what the stuff was. One cushion was completely covered with that. The other cushion had a stain on it. I told Jerry we're not staying. Oh, then, no, that was in room number one. So we went back down to the desk and I said, that room's filthy. We're not staying in it. So she said, well, let me get the manager. So this manager guy came. And so uh, he took us to room number two. Well, room number two, you walk in, same orange couch, Dirtier than the first room. So, one of the rooms, I'm not sure which one, maybe it was room three. He was with us then. And I said, this couch is worse than the other one. And I looked in the bedroom and I said, there's no bedspread on the bed. He said, oh, well they made us take out all the bedspreads and all the radios. I said, who made you take them out? He said, Radisson did. There's gonna be a $25,000 fine if we didn't get rid of all the bedspreads and all the radios. I said, that doesn't make any sense. He said, it's because of the millennials. He said, they don't like the radios or the bedspreads. I'm like, that doesn't make any sense either. Nuts. So anyway, I said, well, this room won't work either. The couch is dirtier than the last couch. So he took us to room number three. Well, room number three, the couch looked okay. So, and of course we already knew there wasn't a bedspread or a radio. So we said, well, okay, we'll try this one. So we moved our stuff in there. Well, when I go into a hotel room, I always check the water faucets because we were in a hotel once where there was no hot water in the shower. It was only cold water coming out. Or the, the shower head wouldn't work right and the water wouldn't come out, you know? So we checked the faucet. So we went, in, went into the shower and you know, the turn on knob is like here and the shower head's way up there, right? So I turn on the turn on knob and the water starts squirting out the wall. The water starts coming out the wall, out the faucet turn off. I guess some was coming out up there, but I was focused on this. So I said, Jerry, Jerry, come look at this. He said, we're not, we're not staying here, Joy. This is ridiculous. Jerry never complains. He's totally as unpicky as I am picky about things like that. He's super picky about other things. But anyway, he said, we're not staying here, Joy. This is ridiculous. So we went down and we checked out. 
Right next door was a Holiday Inn Express. So we walked in over there. <laughs> I've already told you guys all of this on my video that I made while I was there, but of course I told you I couldn't upload it. So we walked in there and I noticed over in the corner where there's a table where people come and eat for breakfast, there's somebody laying on the floor under the table. Like, I thought it was a man at first, but it turned out to be a teenage boy. But he's laying on the floor. And Jerry said, oh, he's probably doing repair. And I said, doing repair? I said, who lays on the floor with no tools and does repair? That's weird. So we walked up to the counter to check in, and it was a young girl. And I said, did you know there's somebody over there laying underneath the table? Yes, I know. So my lightning fast mind, I figured out it must be her kid. And, um... She couldn't come to work or something because her kid was sick, so they said, bring your kid. I don't know, but anyway, I, it's a wonder I didn't walk out of the hotel right then. So anyway, I told her what happened at the other hotel, and I said, could we please see the room before we pay you and, and check in? So she was really, really sweet, and she took us in the elevator up to the room to show it to us. And the room had a bedspread, and the room had a radio, so evidently no millennials stay at the Holiday Inn Express, who knows? The bed was very, very clean. The room was big, roomy, two televisions, a table and chairs to eat at, had a little uh, microwave that was about to fall off the shelf, but at least it had one, and a refrigerator where the freezer didn't work, but it had a little refrigerator. <laughs> but compared to the first room, and of course we checked the shower, and the shower worked really good. So we said, okay, we'll take this room. But oh my goodness, the picture that I showed you a second ago, that was that room. That's the room we actually stayed in. So I called down at the desk, the same girl who's, I assume, kid was laying on the floor. Um, and I said, could somebody please and come back in the carpet? There's like white stuff all over the wall and a big stain. So she sent somebody up the next morning. And it was a girl that barely spoke English, of course. So I just went over there and pointed a flower on L wall. So she, she figured out what I was telling her. <laughs> So anyway, I, I'm not kidding you. I took a pair of my mom's socks. I bought my mom these special socks because her feet swelled. Hello, where did I get that from? Her feet swelled and she, her feet were always cold. And so I bought her these special socks um, for people with feet problems. I don't know. They're just white socks, but they're like wider and they're like padded. And so I took a pair of them. And I thought, well, I'll just use these for slippers, you know, if I have to get up in the night. Well, when I discovered the floor was dirty, anytime I took my shoes off, I put those white socks on. Yesterday when we were packing, I took, I was taking my socks off and I noticed they were all brown on the bottom. I went out, I said, Jerry, look at the bottom of these socks. I said, the only place I've worn them is in this room. This carpet is so dirty, it turned both my white socks brown. I'm telling you, I was not happy staying in a hotel. If you all know a chain that has really nice rooms and they actually clean them, <laughs> please let me know. Okay, you want to see my material? It's just right out of the dryer. And I have my boards cut. Now you know, some of you might be new, that I use the foam core board. I get it from Amazon. I'll put a link below. It's really nice stuff. This is the cheapest that I can find. I always buy the cheapest because the cheapest works the best. If you buy the expensive, high quality stuff that they use in schools for posters and stuff, you can barely cut it. You just cannot hardly cut it. You have to go through it and through it and through it to get it to cut open. These are much easier to cut through. And they're plenty, plenty thick and sturdy for what I use them for. So all those stickers you saw on my arm a while ago, I have stuck them on the bottom of the boards. See? That's my new way of how I do it. Now, the only problem is, can I identify which piece of fabric here goes with which board <laughs> now that the tag is separated from the fabric? We shall see. All righty. Carmine red, white, gray, 100% cotton, overlapping, sketched floral print shirt. Carmine red, white, and gray. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> now, there's still four or five of them downstairs in the dryer. Okay, you remember this one. This is the one that I got at uh, Joann's last week. So, this is the girls. This is the girls. I'm sure they still have it. 
It came from Joanne, 100% cotton. Now, when they give you the rest of the bulk that's less than a yard, they give it to you free, totally free. It's happened to me and Terry, and it's happened two times. It's only on the quilting cottons, not on the other fabrics that are in the store, okay? But definitely on the quilting cottons, which this is. Okay, so you guys have already seen that. Let me see. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, this one also, right out of the dryer. This one also, same thing. This is the one I got the extra for free. I bought one yard and got two-thirds yard free. This is one with the little cardinals on it from Joanne. You already saw that. Now, all of these are my new fabrics, and they are from Fabric Mark Fabrics. Fabric Mark Fabrics has got some new fabrics in. I'm not happy with some of them. I think this is the one that's this board's talking about here. Let's see if it matches. Carmine red, white, gray, 100% cotton, overlapping sketched floral print shirt fabric. Mm-hmm. That looks like a match to me. So, I thought this would make a nice shirt, of course. I don't have a mirror. I don't know. It's kind of ugly, really. <laughs> Why did I buy this? I don't know. Oh, it's really not me. But, um, I don't know. Hmm. Maybe it'll look better on another day. Okay? So, I'm going to take this fabric and I'm going to wrap it around this board. Let's see what comes up next. White, light blue linen cotton floral i'll bet it's this i bet it's this this is another one that i don't know why <laughs> i don't know let me look in the mirror oh this one's kind of pretty this one's kind of pretty it's just you know you can't really see the print it's just kind of bluish and whitish so i do like this one very cute fabric mark fabrics white light blue linen um and if any of you want to know the exact SKU number, just comment below and I'll give it to you. All right, so that one goes with that board. Black, salmon pink, white polyester, lycra, broken geometric print. Black, salmon pink, white polyester lycra, broken geometric print. Stretch. Lycra would mean stretch. Oh, yes, yeah, very, very stretchy. So that must be this one. So I thought this was kind of 50-ish looking. I thought that might make a cute knit dress. I haven't looked at any of these in the mirror yet. Ooh! Oh, my gosh, I love this one. What do y'all think? I really like this one. Yes, I look good in brighter colors. Very true. I think I'll do a cow neck and a dress. I like this very much. And black boots. Oh, total cuteness of all time. All right, so that goes with that one. We'll put it over there. Bright red, white, medium blue, forest green, cotton floral over vertical. Hmm, would that be this one? You'd think it would say stripe. Bright red white, medium blue, forest green, looks like avocado green to me, 100% cotton floral over vertical, and I bet that means over vertical stripes. So, I thought this would be a little different than what you usually see me make and wear. I like it. I like to use the stripes and like turn them in different ways. So I'll probably have it going diagonal and straight up and down and sideways or something. Maybe I'll take my SureFit designs and design my own blouse with this one. Wouldn't that be fun? Okay, so that's that one. That goes with that board. Now this one, I got two of these this time. I got a lucky you. I got two lucky yous because Fabric Mark Fabric, if they get to the end of the bolt and there's less than what, I don't know if it's less than a yard, less than a half yard or what, 
but it says this piece was the end of the bolt and the extra beyond what you ordered is free so I got two of those and this is this so I got some of this for free this is cream cream 100% ray on crinkle shally oh how pretty is that oh my gosh that is really pretty Ooh, I like that one I like that one this one's a little bit sheer but I think when you make these kind of sheer ones, I don't think they're as sheer as before they're made. Who knows? You can always line it. Oh, that's very nice. Very nice. It's a shally. I feel like Viv when I make a shally. Hey, y'all weren't at all excited. Viv came back, were you? 40,000 views last I looked. Good heavens. I do good to get 2,000 views. Let's see what my last one. Now the rest of my fabrics are still in the dryer. So this, this is not my color. Mm, it's not horrible. This is a real soft, real, real soft cotton. Does it stretch? No. Again, I thought, well, maybe I should get something different than I usually make. And I didn't get very much of it. Looks like maybe a yard and a half at the most. Let's see about that, Charlie. Uh, no. It's just a yard. Probably going to make a sleeveless top out of this one. Let me see. Which one did I just get a yard of? This one. All right. So this one is called Light Carmine Pink Off White 100% Rayon Dashed Diamond Print Shelly. Wow. The name is longer than the piece of fabric. <laughs> It really feels good. I like the feel of this one. This shell is pretty. I can see why Viv likes it so much. It feels expensive, even though it wasn't. Okay, what's next? All right, I must have three pieces left in the dryer. And they are all the navies. Of course, I always wash the darks together and the lights together, and I always throw a whole bunch of those um, color catcher, those shout color catcher sheets in. Okay, so I've got three more. I had another lucky you. On one of them so let me run downstairs get them out of the dryer I'll be right back all right here's the rest of my new new you know I'm trying to fill up my my store you know I'm trying to make my own fabric store here and since I bought that new set of I just went up and down the stairs <laughs> I bought that new set of IKEA shelves I have more room y'all remember this one this was the third piece that I bought from Joann's. I think it was week before last week. I really like this one. Yeah, three new blouses right there. Okay, so here's the rest of the fabric, Mark fabric, that I had the stickers up my arm. All right, let's figure out which one is Dried Time Midnight Navy Cotton palm frond print brushed twill shirt. It's got to be this one. Ooh, I actually really like it. I think the navy blue carries it, even though I don't really look good in this green. The navy blue kind of makes it workable. So this is a pretty one. I like that one a lot. No stretch. It's a twill. So that goes with that one. Hmm? Very nice. Okay. Put that one there. Oh, I have a lot of work to do. Have you noticed? <laughs> Muted navy. Soft lapis blue. Pale oat. 100% rayon. Leaf print shelly. Huh? How do we like this one for a fun dress? Huh? I like it. Oh. <gasps> I like this one a lot. A lot. I'm trying to get smaller prints. You'll notice a lot of smaller prints here. You know, usually I've got flowers as big as cantaloupe. And I've decided that, you know, I need to get into something a little different than that. So everything I put on out of my closet doesn't look exactly the same. <laughs> I mean, let's compare. Hold on a second. Gigantic flower. 
little. <laughs> Big difference there, right? You guys, I've gotten so many compliments on this. This is, actually I ran out of the fabric and so I had to make a separate piece up here because I ran out of the fabric. But um, I made pants to go with it. They're hanging in my closet and I still have to finish the edges on this. But so many of you said you love this. Fabric is not available anymore. Fabric Mark Fabric, they, they buy like the ends of bolts or the leftover fabrics from other companies from I don't know how to explain it. They're called jobbers. And so the fabric they get in, it, it just it sells overnight. And I bought this a couple years ago. So no, I would be very, very surprised if there was any of this left. But it's still up here waiting for hemming. But then again, I'm getting much smaller prints. Okay, so this is the muted navy that isn't muted at all. Let me hold it up close. Pretty, huh? I like that one a lot. All right, let's see what we have left. We've got two left. Navy, white, gold, 100% rayon, ditzy. Ditzy, ditzy floral. What does ditzy mean? D-I-T-S-Y, what the heck does ditzy mean? Maybe it means tiny. Ditzy floral print chalet, it's another chalet. Now this is as cute as can be. I really like this one too. Yeah. Isn't that fun? Another tiny itty bitty print. Oh, and I really, really like it. Very cute. Very cute. I'm so glad I got these. And they were probably all 60 off. I don't buy them if they're not on sale. I'll hold this one up to the camera so you can see how cute it is. Hmm? Very cute. Jerry's going to take me to town to Geckos. They sell, um, Mexican food and I love their Mexican food is really really good and so then tonight of course I'll have to have a shake but I can eat one big meal a day or one normal meal a day okay lucky you I'm lucky again this piece was the end of the ball and you get the extra for free so this is French blue light green black polyester lycra geometric print ITY knit. This is the only ITY knit I got. That's a miracle in itself. I usually get all ITY knits. And I haven't held any of these up to me yet. Let's see what this looks like on me. What do you think? It's heavy. ITY knits are kind of heavy because they, they really drape. Let me see. Oh my goodness. You'll certainly see me coming in this. <laughs> no doubt about that. I think this will just be a blouse and I'll wear it with a black skirt or black pants. That, that, that's, mm, that's kind of wild. <laughs> it looks alive, doesn't it? Okay, well that's the very last one. I'll get those all wrapped up on these bolts and put away. Now, I finished filling up my button thing. And this is the paper that Nancy sent me when she sent me that button holder. And it has a little tag in it, but I don't know what the tag means. It, it looks like two B's. All right, my friends, it's quarter till 12, time to drive to town. It is so nice to be home, I'm telling you. You never appreciate your home so much as when you come back from being away from it. I tell you, last night I just melted into my bed. I hadn't slept for three nights up there in Oklahoma City. The wind blew, I am not kidding, it was blowing 25 miles an hour all day long with 50 mile an hour gust. I mean, the trees were just bent over and the flags were like this and my hair was blown straight off my head. Oh, and it created an allergic reaction in me. The worst, the top of the scale allergic reaction that I have. Thank God I don't have one very often. But, oh, I was up all night long. My husband was so sweet to me. He came out. He saw me get out of bed at 2 a.m. I'd already been up half a dozen times. But he uh, heard me out there at 2 a.m. And he came out of the bedroom. And he sat with me. And he said, what can I do? What can I do? 
And I said, would you go just get a washcloth and run it in really hot water and wring it out and just let me lay it on my face. Oh, oh it felt so good. He stayed up with me until um, it finally settled down enough that I could breathe. And uh, he was probably up an hour in the middle of the night with me. And so I didn't get much sleep. Strange bed. You know, I sleep in an elevated, a bed that, you know, is electric. And, of course, we didn't have that there. So I did not sleep well at all. So I, honest to God, went to bed at 7.30 last night. Jerry came in. He said, are you okay, babe? Are you okay? I said, I'm fine. I'm fine. I just want to be in my bed. And I went to sleep like that. Went to sleep, and I did not get out of bed until 7 o'clock this morning. So, thank you, Lord. Or home. <laughs> Nothing like it. Okay, my friends, I'll let you go for now, but since I am back home, I'll be back soon. Bye!